It's been five and a half months since former Assistant Secretary for Insular Areas and Guam native Tony Babauta resigned amid an interior IG probe into charges of travel and contract abuses, a probe that still remains open. Fish and Wildlife official Eileen Sobek took over Babauta's responsibilities as an acting Deputy Assistant Secretary, and President Obama named her Acting Assistant Secretary in March. That to keep the administration's commitment to an elevated post heading the Office of Insular Affairs. NMI Congressman Greg Khalili Sablon publicly raised the issue of a permanent replacement with new Interior Secretary Sally Jewell at a Wednesday hearing. You have personally an acting Assistant Secretary um, uh, for Insular Affairs and uh, she has been doing a commendable job uh, and taking care of some of the issues that has come to us. But obviously it is... Um, um, I stand ready to support the administration's nominee for a, 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 an assistant secretary. When that comes up, we just like to urge, uh, try and urge that it come up soon. But Secretary Jewell, expected to recommend to President Obama a permanent replacement for Tony Babauta, told Sablon. And we are in the process of working through an assist, permanent assistant secretary. So I just want to reassure you that I'm aware of the issues and, um, and uh, it won't fall off my radar, even though it's a, uh, not a, a, as, as uh, highly recognized a part of uh, Interior, perhaps, as some of the others. But Sablon alerted Jewell there will be times when he'll come to her directly to talk to Jewell about issues he says that are truly important to us. Jewell said she's already intervened with HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius to deal with problems at the Commonwealth Hospital, CHC. Sablon, meantime, invited Jewell out to the NMI to visit the Marianas Trench Marine National Monument and to discuss Interior's work on a 15-year management plan for the monument. Jewell pointed out she's been to Guam, but not to the NMI, though she said her brother flew for Air Micronesia and had visited the Commonwealth. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.